finish, precision, smoothness and glide. Hey guys, I'm Jaina. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another video. And if you're new here, thank you for joining us. I cannot keep up with the UK weather. Like one day it's sunny, one day it's raining. And when I say sunny, it's like 22 degrees. Then it drops down to like 13 degrees. I cannot deal with the bipolar weather. And when I say I love sun, I love the sun and I need it to be like full on sunny. I need heat. I need no wind. And the UK just does not provide. So that's where I'm at right now. Just wanted to do a review on the anticipated Morphe by Ariel um, makeup brushes. So I got the full set. And let me tell you, honeys, it was not cheap. But I got it because I thought I'm going to treat myself. I didn't actually treat myself um, for my birthday last month. And I thought, I like makeup. I spend a lot of my money on makeup. So I'm just going to buy something new and I've been waiting for this. So I thought I'm going to buy it and I'm going to do a full review for you guys. Um, the packaging is so pretty. I love kind of like the plain and the um, kind of like nude colorways. This is a picture of the full brush set on the back. So you can actually get a brush set, which is just the eye set. And then this is the full um, set, which is face and eyes. I actually am not sure if this is still available. Um, I will put a link down below to the eye set. And obviously if there is any availability on this, I will put a link down to the full set as well. But I managed to get this. You also get a beauty blender in it, which is a really cute beauty blender. I'm a bit hesitant to use that today because I just don't want to get it dirty. Is anyone else like that with their new brushes? Like you just don't want to open it because I am. I'm always like, oh my God, it's so new. I don't want to use it. But I am actually really excited to try this. Um, So I'm just going to do my makeup basically and talk through this. The price of the full um set was £95 in the UK. They did have an offer for a while on one of the websites, which I think it was like £79. So that was a good discount. Um, And the I set is 48 pound um but like i said i'll link both of them below so you can kind of have a look at them so i'm just going to open the box and show you what it looks like because even inside so this is first of all for me too so inside this is actually really pretty it is just a plain nude box and i think oh yeah okay so we can open it like this oh so this is what it looks like on the inside. This is actually super, super pretty. I really don't want to use them because they all look so pretty. But I'm going to use them and do a video for you. I do think the price was quite expensive for what they are. I mean, like you'll be looking at those and being like makeup brushes. Hmm. But you know the price is like that because it's Ariel. And Ariel has done so many celebrities makeup. He's Kylie Jenner's like makeup artist so we knew that there was going to be a price tag with it and it just kind of comes because he is like makeup artist of the stars so I think I didn't expect anything less but I am shocked that it is that pricey do you know what as well for the price I think you're paying for the packaging you're paying for the presentation like that that alone comes in like a really nice box you can tell it's quality even this feels like great quality so you know that when you're paying for it that's where it's going as well the beauty blender is super cute it's like a little egg but both sides are really pointy so that's going to be really good to kind of get into the corners of the inner eyes um it is super soft and bouncy as well which is really nice i just thought i'm going to do my makeup i'm going to use some of the brushes and i'm obviously going to talk about what they are like. I do have to say, I do really like the um, the size of the brushes. I think they're really good. I've got nails on, so I'm struggling to get these out. But I think they're a really good size, but yet they're still not so large, but they won't fit in a makeup bag. Oh my God, they are so soft. Oh my God, they feel amazing. They're so soft, super, super soft on those. And even the brush and the handle, the grip is so nice. It feels great, like I'm loving it so far. Um, so I will talk through what you actually get in there as well, just so we can see what you have. So just in terms of what you get in here then, you have the A21 brush, which is the setting brush and the kind of blush brush, which you can use kind of bronzer brush. Um, that's A21. You've got the A24, which is the foundation brush, which is a buffing brush. 
You know I have a love-hate relationship with foundation brushes. Sometimes it takes me a while to get used to them. At the moment, I absolutely love the Real Techniques 200 brush. That is like my go-to foundation brush for anything. This is super soft and I like a dense brush, but not too dense. Like if you watch my videos, you'll know when I first got the Huda Beauty foundation, like a buffing brush, I was like, whoa, this is too much. Now I really like it. Um, so it's going to be interesting to kind of see how my makeup goes on using this one. You then have the 858, which is the cream contour brush to use. I normally use a stippling brush for cream contour, but this is going to be really interesting to use to kind of see how my makeup blends out with this. You then have the A3.2 um, contour powder brush, which is really nice. You can see it's got like a nice angle to it. So that will kind of be really good to get into the corners of the face. You then have the A22 blush brush, which is, I guess... It is a blush brush. It's quite a fluffy one. So I guess that would be really nice. It's quite a long one. Um, and I think I quite like an angled brush for my blush, um, which I do use a Morphe one for that as well. Um, but that would be quite interesting to use. You also have a precision setting brush, which is the A14. You've got the A11 fluffy blending brush as well for eyes. You also have the crease blending brush for your eyes as well, which is the A20. The A29 packer brush as well. And then you have the A18 smudging brush and the A19 dual ended kind of concealer brush as well. And I think you can see both of that is that. So this is going to be really good to kind of line your eyebrows or kind of cut your crease as well because they are really sharp. Um, so they're all the brushes that you get with it. And we're just going to use them. So I am going to start by um, just putting some primer on my face. And I'm actually going to go in with the Milk Hydro Primer. And I'm just going to take a couple of smidges of that and apply on my face. I think I'm actually just gonna buff it in with the foundation brush anyway, just to kind of get a coverage all over my face. This brush, oh my God, is super nice and super fluffy. Mm. I like this brush. Okay, so the weirdest thing is, is I felt like I didn't take enough um, primer for my face then because I didn't actually have that much on my hands but as I blended it in with the brush oh my god you can actually feel like there's quite a bit of product on there so it definitely does a good job of spreading the product on your face that is really really good so I have just gone in with the A19 kind of flat concealer brush it's really flat it's really thin and it's just a really straight edge I've just used that to shape my eyebrows and mm, the precision the precision like i always feel that with some of the flat angled brushes they get them the depth of them quite thick you get like random hairs just popping out of the brush so it's never like as tailored and as precise this was precise like mm. oh, i'm so impressed and as much as my bank account hurts from purchasing this I'm already in love and I've only used the second brush. This is my second brush. Oh, Ariel just needs to send me full ranges because my bank account can't keep going like this if he's going to take out more product. So I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and I'm just going to take the, co um, the shade Coco at the moment and I'm going to use the A18 brush. Um, it is the smudging brush, but I'm just going to use that to kind of put some colour and pack some colour in my crease before I blend it out. This is so precise. Like the brushes are so, 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 so neat. They, they feel great. They pick up product great. I really, really enjoy this product like really enjoy this product. I'm actually just going to take the A29 brush just to kind of blend that out into my crease before I go in with the buff colour. I think they do pick product up really well. So I've packed that on into my crease. I'm actually going to go in with I'm going to go in with the A20 blending brush and I'm just going to pick up the shade Henna from the same palette. I'm just going to shake off the excess because I do want to, even though it picks up colour really well, 
it doesn't kind of hold in clumps, which is really, really good. These brushes are a dream to hold. Like, I love how they go thinner at the end. So obviously, when you want that lighter kind of finish, they feel great. They don't feel like really chunky, like you're just trying to hold something. It's so light. It feels like I'm just holding a stick. Um, I really enjoy this. So I'm just going to go in and blend all of this up to like really buff it out into there. Oh my God. It feels so soft and so nice. It's getting a really even coverage all over as well, which I really, really like. That is so nice. They feel great. What's going to be the real test is obviously when I clean them, um, just how they dry and whether they dry like in the same shape and obviously like really well as well. That's going to be really good to see. I'm going to go in and do the same on my other right and then come back and I'm going to cut my crease with um, one of the brushes as well, just so we can see. Um, I've already said it's really precise. I'm probably going to use the same one just because of how good it was. Okay, let me put you on something so good. If you are, if this set never comes back, if the full set never comes back into sale again, buy the eye brush set. Like the blending brushes alone are so good. Like I can't tell you how easy it is to use because of how, like the shape of them, they go from thick to thin and the point is very pointy. So when you're holding kind of here to blend out, it is so easy to blend. Like you just get the right pressure. I don't know how to explain it. It is the right pressure. If you do a lot of eye makeup, you will know that the pressure just needs to be right. And when you find the brush that lets you do that, you are onto a winner. But let me tell you, these brushes, mm. and the thing is like, we know he uses these brushes. He hasn't just made a range for the public and he's like, he's not just joined a brand and put his name on something. He has spent time like testing and developing these brushes. Not only that, he also uses these brushes like now. Like I think there's a picture of him on Instagram where he's using the brushes himself. And you know that if he's using the brushes, he obviously really values the, he obviously really values what the brushes can do to a makeup look. And let me tell you, I love them. I am so obsessed with them so far. Like 100% buy the eye brush set if the full one is not coming back in. That is my first review right now. Like, I don't think I could sell it to you more through a camera because they're so good. Let me just come on and tell you, every time I use a new brush in this set, I'm just even more amazed. Like, I've just taken the 811 blending brush. It's like the really fluffy one. Super, super soft. Again, all the bristles are so soft and so nice. I've literally just blended everything in using this. And mm, the finish. Oh, finish, precision, smoothness, and glide is like the words I will use to describe these brushes so far. Like, they're the words. Like, precision for one and glide. Like, do you know when it just glides across your face, glides across your eyes, and you just know. Like, you know you're onto something good. This is what they are. Okay, so I came on thinking I'm going to film this video, and I'm just going to use one of the brushes, maybe like the A11, and just do like a really simple look, and so I can like really review the brushes. And I just couldn't help myself. Like I picked up a brush and it felt so nice and it, the makeup was going on so easy. I just ended up doing a full look. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to be the same when I do my face. So obviously I've prepped my face and I have already primed my face using the Milk Hydro Primer. I'm going to be taking my NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in shade Barcelona today. I'm just going to take a couple of pumps on my hand first of all and then I'm going to go in with the brush A24 the same one that I used to kind of prime my face I'm just going to pick up some of that product and I'm just going to put it on I'm not going to use the beauty blender today purely because I just don't want to have to clean all of the brushes I'm going to just pop this on and use so my initial reaction already is the brush doesn't feel as dense as I would like I feel for a full coverage kind of foundation look um However, it's picking up and blending the product really well. You can see that it's going on really, really nicely. This is one of my favourite foundations. Um, it's probably my go-to along with the Armani Luminous um, foundation in terms of getting just like a full coverage base. Honestly, it's not what I'm used to in terms of the feel of the brush. Like I said, I do like a little bit more dense um 
base brushes and like foundation brushes and all of his brushes like i've said numerous times are very 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 soft um to touch and also soft on the face but i don't think it's done a bad job i'm just going to come in so you can see it a little bit better but overall i think the base is looking really really nice interesting and i'm just going to go in in like real pressing motions and currently for concealer, you know, I kind of like big um, concealer brushes. I use the Real Techniques um, concealer brush and I definitely like the way that kind of finishes and kind of just blends everything in really nicely. However, this is not too shabby. It's very small, so I feel like in terms of time, it's not like your kind of quick kind of concealer brush however let me tell you the precision again to be able to get underneath the eye just kind of around the crease blend it in so there is no crease under my eye is so nice and so easy i mean that looks great don't you think it's really good to like get underneath and neaten up your eye concealer, um, your eye, the corner of your eye, it's really good shape and width to do that. And you can see it just kind of like snatches and like lifts everything up. Okay, to set my under eyes, I'm gonna use the A14 brush. I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D um, shade and contour palette. And I'm just gonna pick up a mix of the top two shades. They are called Lucid and Lyric. And I'm just gonna pick and kind of shake that off. And I'm just gonna use that to set my under eyes because I don't really want to bake or kind of have a heavy setting um and this brush is great it has it's tapered at the top but it's not too pointy but it gives you just the right precision to kind of get in the corner and right up near your kind of lash line to really set your under eyes to kind of avoid creasing um so again another winner so for cream contour, I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty matchstick in Mocha shade 3. I'm going to use the A58 brush and I'm just going to use that to kind of blend in the contour. Like I said, I'm used to a stippling brush usually for my contour. However, I'm not opposed to try kind of new ones. I'm just going to put that in my hairline. It blends the product out so nice and easy. You can kind of tap motion, which is great for pushing the product around and um, into the face and not kind of dragging it around. But even if you kind of do circular blending motions up into my hairline, it's actually blended the product out super, super nice. Still using the A58 to just blend out my nose contour as well. And I will go in with some highlighter, kind of snatch the center of my nose. I'm just using the A3.2 to kind of blend in some powder contour just to kind of deepen and darken that um, contour area. And again, really nicely done. I'm not used to using quite a big loose brush for powder contour. However, it is tapered, so it is kind of really nice. I'm just going to go in using the A21 and I'm going to pick up some NARS Orgasm and I'm just going to apply that for my blush. Obviously, I have been using a lot of cream blushes recently, um, so I feel like this is probably not the brush I would pick. I definitely preferred more of an angle brush, um, still the Morphe one, just to kind of pick up the cream blush, which you can also apply with your hands. However, this is picking up and applying the powder blush really nice, really well. Okay, so I have finished my makeup, so I thought I would just come on here for kind of like a quick final review because there's a couple of brushes that I didn't record and I just wanted to tell you. I know I said I wasn't going to use every brush in this set and I was just going to talk through the ones that I did use. However, I ended up using all of them. My set is empty, apart from the Beauty Blender. So I did use all of them, even though I said I would have, but we're here. So the one thing I did want to mention was the, I think it's the blush brush, which is the A22. I really found it not precise for my blush. Um, 
I just felt like it was really loose and I like to really get like a colour on my cheeks so I tend to like really push some product in um so for me it didn't really do the job as a blush brush however I used it to um add my highlight and I actually went in with my MAC Soft and Gentle which is like my all-time favourite it's like my OG highlight I went in and I used that and it picked up a lot of product and as you can see it applied a lot but I love it I love a glowy dewy look and this was just the right amount of product, the right texture. It went on really nice. It's really smooth. So it picks up the product and it drops the product on in just the right place and helps it to blend out because it's so soft without like leaving any harsh, harsh bristle lines or any harsh brush lines, which for me is like win-win. So that is one thing I have to say. I don't think I've ever used any brushes that have felt this good on my face. And I've always talked about my foundation brushes that I go to, like I, Real Techniques are like my go-to brushes. I use Morphe brushes, like I've used Morphe's um, collaboration brushes as well. However, there has not been a one collaboration or one Morphe brush where I have loved it so much that I'm like, I'm going to use them all the time or I'm going to use the whole set. There's always been like a thing where I've bought the set and I've not really liked all of the brushes. There's not one brush in here I don't like or would not use. There's some of them, like I've said, I would switch the use from them. So this is the blush brush and I would just use it for my highlight brush. Um, and to be honest, this is not really the concealer style brush I use. However, it is a really nice concealer brush. And what I would say is all of these brushes are so light to apply the product. I actually ended up using less product than I probably would have with a bigger buff brush. So like I said, I go in with the Real Techniques um, concealer brush. I don't have it here, but I go in with the Real Techniques concealer brush and it's like a buff brush and it's slightly bigger. It's probably like this big just to kind of buff in the product underneath. However, I used less product. I actually found that when I put the little bit here and the little bit here, that was more than enough, probably too much product. I ended up wiping a lot of it on my hand when I was blending the concealer in. Um, same with the highlight. I literally did a one sweep of highlight and put it on and you can see how much highlight is actually on my face. I actually really, really like the fact that it makes me feel like I'm using less product, which now that I've used the brushes once going forward, I feel like I would know kind of how much product to put on because of how easy it is to blend. The one that surprised me the most was the um, foundation brush, brush, which is the A24. So like I said, I like really dense brushes when I'm going in for a look. This is so soft. It's, it's dense, but it's really loose dense. Like it's not dense to like a foundation brush density. And my base looks so flawless. Again, I do feel like on this, I probably used more product than I had to, but I felt like I needed to put one on. And I think that was more like in my mind, I'm like, I've not put enough product on because it's it's blending too easy. For me, it was blending way too easy that I was like, it's not covering everything. However, it did a really good job of doing it. So that was one thing. And I would have to say my other favorite face brush is the A58, which is the cream contour blend out. I never usually use this shape. It's really weird because it's really fluffy and it's a really thick, full brush. However, it is, it's got like a little flat um, base to it. So it's not round. It's quite a flat kind of brush, if you can see, um, compared to the foundation brush, which is really round. And um, and this blended my cream contour like a dream. That actually, if I wasn't going to do contour, I said like this blush brush was just not for me because I use even, to be honest, the one I did use, which was this one. Um, if I was, no, it wasn't. It was this one, the A21. Even if I was to use cream contour, I wouldn't use this. It was just too buff for me. Um, however, I would be happy to use this A58 brush on cream blush as well just to kind of blend it all out now I know how it blends I love it I really really like all these brushes um I could not recommend them enough I'm gonna link everything below I hope you like this review it was something different I've never really reviewed full product sets and I really enjoyed this so Ariel if you watch this send me more stuff come out with more stuff because I know the price is like a little bit high however you're a queen with makeup like you are a queen with makeup and I am so impressed um, with the range. Like I'm actually so glad I invested in this range and it's an investment. It's not a splurge, it's an investment. And it really is because the brushes are so good. And let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've used these brushes. Did you manage to get your hands on them already? 
let me know in the comments and I hope to see you on the next video. If you are new here, do not forget to click the subscribe button for more reviews, more beauty, more makeup, just anything I want to trial or any products that you want me to kind of look at as well, let me know as well and I'll see you next time.